how strong is the snatch, and when does it slip? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highline. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinkson. Welcome to my gear room. One piece of gear we're going to talk about today is the snatch and how it held up to the slack snap test machine. Now, this is kind of a continuation of our buying guide. We talked about what to buy so you don't have to buy things twice and how to use that gear on a slack line and a high line. So in the buying guide, we showed you the line grip. However, this is the single most expensive piece in the entire setup. And I tried in the slack line video to show how to use a Prusik on webbing. It really sucks. Don't do it. There's too many other good options. Um, this is a great tool to use. It's worth the 225 ish dollars it costs. However, um, there are cheaper options if you are on a budget. We did make an episode about wood grips. They are a little bit cheaper than the snatch, but not by much. And this one broke in a, in not much of a safety margin there. So if you're gonna do a long, long line in the park, this probably wouldn't be your best bet. Now we have not tested the plywood version yet, and uh, we got some 3D printed ones. So Kolya Shalnov is part of our Russian Slack family, and he makes the snatch. He also makes Weblock, I think a webbing now, and a pulley system. To order stuff like this, go to Facebook and go to his Facebook page, Kolya Shalnov. It's in the link in the description below. And you just private message him on what you want. He still has yet to get his website up. The snatch runs 90 US dollars. That includes shipping. And I think it's a bit cheaper in Europe. Not sure what the euro price is. Anyways, the MBS, the minimum braking strength right here, says 25 kilonewtons, which means you can use it with a 5 to 1 safety ratio at 5 kilonewtons. Now, you don't highline when, you're, uh, when this is connected. You pull it tight in your web lock and then remove it. So, um, not quite sure why there's a 5 to 1 safety ratio on a line grip. Uh, the other normal line grip also has a safety ratio. The wood grip does not have a safety ratio, but it is pretty nifty. So let's find out when it slips and then when it breaks. So to put the rubber to the ultimate test, we tried this on Moonwalk, on the part you're not supposed to connect it to because the Dyneema polyester blend is very slippery. And we did two tests. The first one was 1,200 pounds of force or 5.3 kilonewtons. And the other one was about 1,700 pounds of force or 7.7 kilonewtons before it started to slip. Didn't leave any issue on the moonwalk and our rubber is still fine. Now this is the worst thing to try to grip. Um, we're gonna try this next. So then we put the snatch on the correct part of the moonwalk and pulled and we got 3150 pounds of force or 14 kilonewtons before it started to slip. So this slightly stuck to the rubber. The rubber, I definitely feel, it feels sticky. It feels like it's changed a little bit, but it just probably make it more grippy. Uh, the little bit of rubber on my moonwalk. The other side, not so much. As far as these, these things go, he added a stitch in here. Uh, they used to come out. It is buried properly, but, uh, these eyes look fine. Okay, so now that I was really impressed with the rubber grip, we were gonna put it to the test on spider silk. Now, spider silk has a reputation for also being slippery, but my shit's so old, it's not a problem. Uh, it did not slip, and the splice broke and came undone at 4,000 pounds of force, or 17.7 kilonewtons. Spider silk, it was right here. So, it leaves a mark. Not like my spider silk was that great a shape. So the plates, got a little fuzz on the rubber. Uh, yeah, it's just got uh, Vectron fibers on the rubber here, but the rubber is still attached well. You can see here on the front, how it's smashed, squished a little. You can see here that the stitch broke and that the splice came undone. This splice is perfectly fine. So, 
I changed out the 5mm AM steel he had and put on this 6mm AM steel and put on Bromel ice splices. Now I don't think the extra thickness of the AM steel is that important, but the way I splice it is less likely to come undone. Now you cannot do the eyes inside of each other like he had with two Brummel ice splices. But I don't see this being a problem at all because I can't exactly pull that out. It's not going to accidentally come undone. So um, let's find out how this broke. Real slow. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna scoop out. Okay, stop. Oh, wow, 6,100 pounds. It, uh, it slipped is what it did. And then it, it caught, um, uh, barely caught, but it caught, like that's pretty cool. Wow, look how effed up that rubber got. But like, <clears throat> 6,000 pounds of horse. That thing is stuck. Do I still have a snatch? I think you start. Uh, I don't know. A little bit. Definitely usable. So we did one more test, and we tested it on McFly. McFly breaks around 22 kilonewtons, which our last test, it slipped at 27 kilonewtons. So you can see here that it actually broke the webbing behind the web block, which is where webbing normally breaks. It's still bent a little, uh, but the webbing broke behind the web block, so, so much for that. So what do I think about the snatch overall? Let's put it in the words of Thomas Rugg. <laughs> I want a snatch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a snatch. I want your snatch. I want a snatch. So you heard him, folks. This thing is pretty awesome. The MBS on this is 25 kilonewtons, and it did not slip on spider silk until 27. Um, not really interested in trying to break it because I want to use it. Something interesting that shocked me when I opened the box is how small it is. Uh, it, for some reason, looks bigger in the photos online. Uh, so, that's how big it is. That is your tension system. So, the Buckingham tensioning system, the Buckingham method, is to grab your webbing, use the tail of it, and pull it into your web lock. Soft releases are really nice for that. But uh, what we're going to do, which you may enjoy, is now that I have six grips, I'm going to do the Buckingham Palace. And we're going to put them a three to one on 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 a three to one. Just because we don't know what's going to happen. So, like you requested, I am trying to keep these episodes shorter. This one is under 10 minutes. Yay! And I'm trying to get back to that. If you want to see the chart on this and all the numbers so you can compare things, that is on slackademics.com. The link is in the description below.